or bring you like oh, Park, here it is now. Take a, a listen. peaceful demonstration was held for a couple of hours. Uh, about three hours later, a secondary group of uh, demonstrators showed up and they were uh, carrying baseball bats. That group then marched south. Uh, on Fifth Avenue towards the headquarters building. And while en route to the SPD headquarters building, the group uh, damaged businesses along the way. They also damaged the old federal courthouse that's on Fifth Avenue. Once the group reached headquarters, they graffitied the headquarters building and then they graffitied the municipal court building, broke all of the lower windows out there. Um, the group then headed back uh, north on Third Avenue all of the while continuing to damage businesses along the way. Um, individuals in the group appeared to target Starbucks and Amazon, um, uh, both as they were heading towards headquarters and heading uh, back northbound. They then made it to the West Precinct, uh, where this group confronted officers outside. And excuse all my paperwork here. Um, the protesters then uh, lit mortar type fireworks and then threw them at officers from a very close range. Um, the devices that they threw can blind, maim, and kill people when thrown from these short of distances. Excuse me. Uh, the result is at least 12 officers during this confrontation were injured. At least one officer is being treated at the hospital after fragmentation entered his neck and throat area. The other officers are being assessed and treated at the precinct. Um, during this time, the police department used blast balls and pepper spray to stop the assault that was occurring on officers. No tear gas or other less lethal munitions have been deployed. Um, at this point, we know that we made two arrests, one for assault and I believe the other one was for a theft or attempted theft. Not clear at this point, but as that information becomes available, uh, we'll share it with you. Um, once they left the West Precinct, the group came up here to the East Precinct, continuing on their path of uh, vandalizing businesses and destruction while along the way. Um, when they got to the East Precinct, they broke out several windows um, of the precinct, as you can see behind you, and I think you all got footage of it. They then threw some type of pyrotechnic item into the lobby, which ignited a small fire that one of our uh, community members put out, as I understand it. There were no injuries resulting from that fire. The group then went from the precinct over to Cal Anderson Park, where they gathered for a while and then dispersed. Uh, I'm told from the incident commander here today that this group appeared to be well organized, uh, was a well organized and orchestrated group that it was kind of a joint effort to uh, target specific businesses and government buildings and uh, do property destruction and vandalism. So I might be able to answer a few questions. Uh, this is ongoing and active and some of this information could change throughout the day or night. If that happens, uh, we'll put that information on our SPD blotter or out on Twitter. Um, but again, I appreciate everybody's patience with me um, as this is a fluid situation. Our chief is at Harborview right now um, with the injured officer, um, making sure that he's okay. So that's why she's not here. Reports of looting too, do you know specific numbers? I don't know specific numbers. I do know there were reports of looting though. Where were police when we, you know, when they were smashing windows, when we saw them moving around, were police following nearby or was there a point that police tried to intervene to stop them from damaging businesses? Uh, police were monitoring, um, but they did not come and um, it, they were not able to intervene and stop the, the property damage. Why is that? I'm not sure, you'd have to ask, the, I, I wasn't there, so you'd have to ask the commander as far as what their uh, staffing and operations plan looked like, but they did not. How does what happened here as you see cleanup change how officers go forward, say this group or some folks come back, will there be a different tactical approach from police? I don't know. Dr. So Ellis, two arrests? Two arrests that we know of at this time. Um, that number could change uh, as the day goes on and we get more information. How big was that group of uh, dam demonstrators that were damaging things? Uh, at one point, I think the number was 300, up to 300, 
or so. Um, and let me be clear, it wasn't the entire group that was doing the damage, it was individuals within the group. So um, some of the demonstrators were peaceful, the other ones were set out for destruction and damage. Is this the same group that was reported to be at the West Precinct, or is this simultaneous things happening at once? These were chronological, this was at one group and it was chronological, it was not all happening at once. And the arrests, um, what, what kind of potential charges? I believe one was for assault and the other one was for theft. Can you just so. generally say what happened here at East Precinct? What, what occurred here on the outside of the building? Oh, just that they broke the, they, they approached and they breached the gate and then went in and broke the windows.